Mama D. Mama D. What is your question? Okay, so what, what class is this? This is going to be art class. So just like how you have with Miss Johnson, I'm going to be taking over. She's having her baby very soon, so I'll be stepping in to teach. And um, how are we going to do art? Oh, that's an excellent question. We're going to use a different variety of methods and, um, and techniques, and mostly it will be a drawing class. Um, it's going to be a lot of, of fun. <laughs> All right, and then... There's a few more scholars I'm admitting right now. I'll take one more question. So you can just raise your hand on the screen. All right. All right, so, oh, Queen. Go ahead, Queen, what's your question? My question is that what are we gonna be learning about in art? Okay, excellent question. And we're going to begin that right now. So in this class, it's going to be broken down into a few main projects. This project is something I'm very excited to introduce to you and it's actually behind me. It is called Build Your Own City. So before we get started on what's Build Your Own City, I would like to first talk about what is a city. So if you'd like to answer what is a city, raise your hand. Just like in class, make sure that your eyes are engaged. Make sure that you're tracking and have your body calm, showing that you're listening. What is a city? Yes. So I think a city is someplace where you stay in. Okay. It's just like, and it's like, it has buildings, stores you can visit. Excellent. Anyone else want to add on? Amber, I'm going to call on Amber next. Oh, I'm to have lost you, Amber. All right, I'll come back, Amber, if I find you. All right, so we're going to actually be looking at a PowerPoint today that will talk, oops, that will talk about what a city is. And we can, um, we're going to stop ever so often to, to talk about each slide. All right. Give me a thumbs up if you could see the screen. Excellent. So this project is called My Perfect City. Now there's no such thing as perfect, but in your world, you are going to be able to make the city anything you will like. So if you have a question, you can pop up your hand. I'm gonna do my best to see you along with, um, with the PowerPoint, okay? So the important words that we're going to be focusing um, on here is different words surrounding your neighborhood. Now, it's important to know that we all live in a city. So what I want you to consider on top of what is a city, I want you to think about how city life is different than a small town. What do you think? How is city life different than a small town? I see a hand. Go ahead, Queen. Cities are different. A city life is different than living in a small town because, of course, city living in the city, like life is more busier like things are more busier and it's bigger than a small town in a small town not much really sh not not much really seems to be going on i guess and like it says in the title it is smaller than a city does anyone want to add on evaluate that asani yeah thank you that's um also something that's not <laughs> That's small than a city. It has more space and more, like, it's like called a suburb and has more space to run around in. Great. And I know I said this before, but if I cannot see your eyes on the screen, make sure that I can see your eyes. Not only am I getting to know your faces, I do want to call on, um, do my best to call on as new as possible. I'm going to move on to the question what is so great about our city? What is so great about it? 
or what do you enjoy? What is the best part? Go ahead and pop that hand up if you want to answer. You could also do the digital hand up. Go ahead, Muda. Um, is this enrichment? Yes, this is. So enrichment is going to be um, the specials classes and all the other classes that you would have during specials. Okay. What is so great about the city, Muda? What do you think? What is so great about the city is basically like, Do you want me to give you time? The food. The food, yes. Lots of different varieties, huh? Mm -hmm. All right, what else? I see a Katie. Go ahead, Katie. Um, this city has history to it, like the 9-11. And um, yeah, there's a lot of memory. Yeah, our history definitely is a very important part of our, of our city. Um, so the things that we would change about our city, so thinking about what you're close to, what your surroundings are, and what you would change if you had to change anything. What would you add? What would you take away? What would you change about our city if you could? What do you think? Let's hear from one. Looking for that one hand. Oh, there you go. What would you change? So I would change gangs, because where I live, there's like people, there's gangs everywhere. And I also changed the grocery stores to making it have more food because whenever I go to grocery stores, it's always just empty. So I'll just change grocery stores and gangs because, yeah. Those are excellent reflections and all things that I want you. So everything that we feel about our city, we all have a different, um, different beliefs, different values, different things that we care about that we want to um, show in our city things that we want to make better in our city I want you to hold on to all of these thoughts because we're gonna think about the things that we use every day here and we're gonna think about what we need for our own cities now there are a few different kinds of things that go into a city and when I say things I'm talking about um, structures and all of these structure structures can be broken down into about five different parts and the parts we're gonna focus on today here are residential, commercial, institutional, industrial, and green public space. So with the paper that I told you to get, feel free to write notes. I want you to kind of write what pops out to you. If you see something and you're like, oh, I gotta have that in my town, go ahead and write it down because we're going to be constructing a city of our very own. I'm going to hop into each part and um, we're going to talk about what each one kind of looks like and what it's used for. So first category is residential. Residential, as you can see, is where people live. Now we can talk a little bit about each slide, but I wanna make sure we have enough time to get our final ideas down today. So why is residential important? Or how important do you think residential is? Go ahead, Katie. What's so important about residential? Um, I think it's important because um, it really like, it really describes of like, I don't know, like what you experience when you live there is really like how we think of how the city is and like about this project we need to first live in the city to like figure out how like we think about it yeah okay go ahead and add on mama d oh no i'm good i'm good okay good for now all right i'm gonna move on to the next slide like i said i'm not gonna spend um too much time commercial where people buy and sell things Quick show of hands, raise your hand if you have commercial near you. All right. What is the importance? What is the importance of commercial? I'm seeing a lot of digital hand raises. Make sure you're doing that if you want to answer the question. Synovia. Oh, yeah. Um, I think that the importance of commercial is like, you can like buy and rent stuff and you can like own land and it's not just like you're stealing everything and taking everything for free because you have boundaries in the city. 
Great. And we, we're going to go into the very um, custom rules um, created for each city. And as you know, you're going to be a city planner, so you're going to be making some rules of your own. Um, once you, once I answered your question, please lower your hand so I know that you don't want to be called on at the time. Industrial. Ooh, I skipped industrial. Industrial is transportation centers in places where things are made, discarded, or processed. What is the significance? Let's hear from someone I haven't called on yet. Go ahead, Asani. Oh, that. That is helpful because it makes um, moving places much faster and more efficient. Efficient. What do you mean by efficient? It means to help tra transportation help make things much faster for you, but also. Also, if it's run by gas, also kills air pollution. Excellent. All essential things. I could see a lot of your minds busy at work. Delvis, shout out. I see him writing, taking notes, showing that he's engaged. Again, if I cannot see your eyes, make sure that I do. I'm flipping screens here. I'm going to see everyone focused. Our last category. And what I want you to think about when we're thinking about this category, open public spaces and parks where people play, exercise or enjoy nature so why is this important and not only that but what would life be like if we didn't have these places what do you think if we didn't have open public space and parks what would it be like i want to call on as many scholars as possible today so samuel what do you think why is it important Is your mic on? It's important so that so that people don't like have to stay indoors and can enjoy the outside air. Okay. Who wants to add on? Go ahead. I think it's important to have parks and playgrounds because um, children can have free time and if they're stuck indoors, they're gonna become bored. And life without playgrounds is gonna be hard since children always want to go to the parks and always want to play and have free time. Excellent. Um, so life without parks would not be great or open public space. We want to have a balance of all of these different things that humans need to survive, but we also do want to keep a good balance of these open public spaces and parks. So keeping that in mind, your assignment is going to be choosing only a few of these things because you are only going to do four to eight of these structures. So if you had to choose, which one do you think is the most important and why? Take a moment to think about it. And I want you to write down all the things that you think are most essential. I want to give you all about 20 seconds, write down a list of the most essential, most important. You can raise your hand when you're ready to share. I'm gonna give you about 10 more seconds to see a few hands popping up here. Okay. Let's have pencils down and really make sure we're listening to the speakers now in three. Ready or not, we'll have more time to plan and discuss too. Uh, by the way, I just gained access to contact your, um, your families. So I will go ahead and send this PowerPoint along so that when I see you next Monday, um, you could have a better idea or maybe even start sketching to practice some of these structures. Two, one, and zero. Okay, pencil down. And raise your hand if you want to share out what you think is the most important structures that you have to have in your neighborhood. Go ahead, Josue. Uh, I think the most important are the water plants, the, mon the monuments, uh, the parks, the, the, like the apartment buildings, the, yeah, that's it. Okay. I love that answer. Those are very important things. We have to think, what do we need to survive? Queen, go ahead. 
I think that we would need to survive would be stuff like grocery stores, grocery stores, apartment buildings, and parks. Great. I think we need those to survive because, first off, we would need food and supplies to survive, and we would need nature and places that we could enjoy ourselves because without it, we wouldn't really have much fun in life. So I think those would be the most important You're things. You're going to include that in your na neighborhood? Good. So it's going to be pretty hard to take out some of these things. So let me just give you the good news. The good news is, wow, right here, mixed combinations. So don't worry if you can't fit in all the things. Sometimes you can have a place that has more than one function. So for example, there can be a residential area that's also part commercial, like half restaurant, half apartment, or there could be half park half industrial, which you kind of have to consider what will work for your own neighborhood. Here's where you come in. Oops, Daisy. You are going to make a beautiful, beautiful neighborhood. And instead of a normal neighborhood, like I don't know how many of you were in your school for second grade, you might have um, practiced or third grade even with those perspective drawings. It's not going to be as tricky as perspective, but it's not going to be as easy as simply drawing a town going straight because there is going to be two horizon lines and I will demonstrate in just a moment. There is going to be build buildings and structures in the front and there's going to be buildings and structures in the back. So which ones are going to be bigger? Pop quiz, who remembers their space lessons? Which, which buildings will be bigger, the ones in the front or back? Go ahead, Muda. Um, so basically, so basically, um, the buildings in the front will be bigger. Okay. And remember, if I'm not saying your name right, please tell me. Your names, so. Yeah, my name is actually Quincy. Oh, there you go. I was very off, huh? <laughs> Thank you, Quincy. All right, so I'm going to make sure that you mute yourself after, after you're done sharing. Um, that way I don't have to shift through. Okay, so when you're making the city, a few things you're going to want to consider. What people want and need. How will you make it the most environmentally friendly that you can? Um, there's a few places to your neighborhood that will kind of help you plan. There's the city planner, which is you. There's the people that live there. Maybe your town has a special theme or city has a special theme. People wanna visit it because it's um, a, a certain place. Owners, think about them. And then also government. What are the rules gonna be like there? So you're gonna create four to eight structures. Today is all, all about not do more than four structures in the front or four structures in the back but you can do four and four so it could be eight you can't do less than two structures so it can be two or two but no less so two to four structures in the front two to four structures in the back now it's going to be a little bit tricky for you to decide and then this is what you're going to need for next class which will be in the powerpoint if you want to check it out i'm going to send it on jupiter okay so we're going to actually switch switch modes here and make sure I'm back. Okay, so I'm turning on my doc cam, just like you have in your other art classes. And the doc cam actually shows my planning journal that I have here. I always like to keep a sketchbook. This is some flowers, things that you, a place where you can draw and hold all your ideas. If you don't have a sketchbook, um, bringing pieces of paper, uh, any size really to class will be the most helpful. If you do have things like colored pencils, paint, uh, materials, crayons, anything that you want to bring to the table, feel free. Uh, if you're not sure whether or not it will be best suited for this project, just pop your hand up and we can talk about it, okay? So when we're planning this, this is not going to be my final draft and this won't be yours either. Very quickly, give me a thumbs up um, if you have a pencil and paper in front of you. It's very important that we're all, Elijah, 
Make sure that I could see your eyes, everyone. Um, it's very important that we're all on the same page here, especially since I can't physically be with you all and um, and give you those worksheets. Quincy, okay, just making sure I see you. And Joseph, please turn on your camera. I wanna be able to see your eyes at all times. Great. So the first thing I do want you to write is my city plan. Like I said, this is just a rough draft. Not only where will there be a naturally built in horizon line at the bottom of the paper here. So for example, this can be building one. This could be building two. You're gonna have a second horizon line back here. Now you could decide whether it's gonna be a very mountainous city or maybe it's gonna be a flat city. Mine's gonna be a mixture of both. And then obviously you put the, the buildings back here. So like we said before, the buildings in the back are going to be smaller than the ones in the front. Now, you don't need to make all of your buildings and structures rectangle shaped. Why don't we wanna make them all rectangle shaped? What's the problem with that? Go ahead, Matthew. Oh, why don't um, we wanna make all of our buildings rectangle shaped? It wouldn't look as realistic. Yeah. Um, like. Someone want to add on? So who can think of other shapes our buildings can be? Anthony? <laughs> Anthony, what are some other shapes yeah. buildings can be? If you, um, need, if you need more time, you could just say more time. No, nah, um, I have a question. Yes. Can a building be a ball? Can it, that is an excellent question, Anthony. And you know what? It's your town. Absolutely can. Um, I don't know if any of you have ever seen this, um, the Basketball Hall of Fame. Raise your hand if you have. That is actually shaped exactly like a sphere. Lissandra, you've seen it before? Excellent. Okay, so you're going to plan out your city. Right now, mine is just rectangles, but that's obviously not how it's going to stay. I told you that you cannot do less than two. So you're gonna have at least two here, but no more than four, at least two here and no more than four. Make sure that you're not um, pressing the screen recording feature. I mean, not screen recording, screen sharing. Okay, excellent. So I'm going to also plan the structures back here. Now, because I told you today is note day, now's the time that we can all go back into our PowerPoint being able to plan for these different things. So when I'm making my plan, I might want to write words right now. Like I'll know that I want to park right here. I want my land to be mostly park. I'm also going to think about different stores and places that are very important to me. Now, many of you have things in your neighborhood or city that you would like to keep. You also have things that maybe are far away that you wish were closer. Who can think of from the top of our head? I want this to be like a brainstorm sharing time. What kind of things are you going to include in your personal city? Make sure to listen to each other when each other talks. You could still draw, but listen with your ears. Something great about, and I'm making sure everybody is focused over here. Um, something really great about art is there is no right or wrong answer. And I encourage all of you to share um, your thoughts and beliefs in this class. What are you going to add? Yes, and say your name again, please, when I select you. My name is Zuleya. Zuleya, thank you. What are you going to add? So what I'm going to add is, I'm going to add malls, grocery stores, pizza, pizza shops, food stores, more playgrounds, more parks, need more libraries, hangout times, more factories, need more buildings, and food markets. Excellent plan. You're going to have to make sure that all of that fits. So I want you to think through the structure, maybe making a quick sketch. I, uh, this class is over, just so you know, at 2.35. That means you have about 15 minutes to create your sketch. I not only want you to write sketches, but also words, okay? Just like she did over there, that was very amazing that she made that list. Now you can also put your words into sketches. Right now I have mostly sketches, but not enough words. Um, not only that, but because I know these aren't gonna all be rectangular, you might wanna think about what the shape will be and why. As somebody asked about the sphere building, that is an excellent idea. 
Um, Quincy, I see your hand up. Yes, Quincy. Um, also, I have another question. Um, like, for our cities, can do buildings have to have windows or can they just be um, like super flat? And can we add like weird shapes onto the top of buildings? That's actually a really great question. My answer would be, I would say to make sure it's livable, um, you know, a building with no doors, no windows, I don't know how you'd get out, right? But the weird shapes, go for it. This is your town, your city, your rules, right? Excellent question. I love how I see so many, um, so many of you really hard at work, like Jalisha, Jalisha or Jalisha, how do I say your name? Oh, do you have your mic on? I don't know if you have your mic on, but I see that you're hard at work. So I just wanted to give you a shout out. Great job. Make sure that you are seated and uh, in that I can see your eyes. So Xavier Comfort. I see that Joseph messaged me. Thank you, Joseph. All right. Who wants to share more about their town while we're working? We can work and share at the same time. Anthony, I'm gonna call on you next to see what kind of things you're adding. Make sure you're sketching. By the way, Ms. Johnson had such amazing things to say about you and she even said she really missed you. And we discussed, but I'm not sure yet, um, she wants to maybe pop in and say hi at some point. So I told her that's something definitely that we can talk about. So we could decide what day we wanna do that. Um, Alejandro, did you have a question? I was gonna share what I had. Oh, please do. Um, so I'm gonna add the projects because you kind of see that a lot in New York City. And I'm gonna add bodegas and mm -hmm. um, like baseball fields because it's mostly like what you see over here. I love that. And that, that to you is an important part of your, of your city and your culture? Yes. Excellent, love that. So while we're working, Oops. going to share with you all that I absolutely love animal shelter. Animal shelters, helping animals. Um, I don't know if I told you this, but I'm actually the art teacher at school three, four, and uh, my whole room is kind of based on the environment. So we're working a lot with paper mache, recycling and protecting animals. So that's something cool fact about me. So definitely must have as an animal shelter. Now I'm not just gonna write it like this in my final. Obviously I'm gonna wanna experiment with different fonts. So before next class, if you can kind of take a look around your neighborhood or like out the window, um, flip through the PowerPoint, just get a really good idea of how you want the letters to be displayed. Now you wouldn't see your normal classroom handwriting on these windows. And I know you've had a lot of drawing practice. So just kind of thinking about how we can just put our own personal selves in there and those really cool fonts that we can come up with, even inventing our own fonts. Like when I go and I see Petco, I see it's in red, I see it's rounded. Think about what your letters will look like. Um, this animal shelter. Now, if, if, you're, a, if you're a real, uh, real into 3D, that is also something that you, you can be able to do for your, your final. And uh, if not, we could kind of, it already gives the illusion of space by having some things on the front, some things on the back, um, because you can so clearly see these things up here are bigger. What other things are you including? I see Synovia with her hand up. What are you including? Um, I'm including the Empire State Building, uh, including a lot of stores. I live in Manhattan. Yeah, I live on 125th, so there's like a lot of stores around here and like there's a lot of factories and I can see like the Empire State Building in the distance. Amazing. Also thinking about climate, um, what is the climate like? What's the outside, the sky? Anthony. Yeah, I have, I have, I have could, could I show you my work? Please do. 
Okay. Um, all right, all right. Let me so, hold it. No, I'm good. So you see right here this beautiful work, like you see this building, and then these are solar solar things. Circle. Okay, no, you know those that reflect solar power. So yeah, solar power. So like solar I'll use power. that to like power up this building. Yeah, solar power. I'll use solar power, and then right here you see this is a swing. Um, this beautiful as you see, very detailed, <laughs> kind of. And then here's the bit. So yeah, that's my work. Great. It looks like you're off to an excellent start. Um, you're gonna. Thank you. Yep, you'll be able to flesh it out more a little, um, next class. And the more notes you could write at this time, the better. Um, Sophia, I see you hard at work. Sophia, do you want to share about your neighborhood? So, um, I have like a building of like a shopping center, like a mall, and then. Another building that I have is an animal shelter. And then my last building that I have is a deli. Excellent. Like who actually yes. Okay. And when Anthony so, so what I have for my building right here, let me just show you guys. This is my building. <laughs> That is very detailed. You did a lot in such a little amount of time. This is a this is Central Park. This is the mall with the escalator shop. This is the apartment, and this is the house, and this one I'm gonna turn into an apartment. Just so you know, next class, um, I'm going to provide you all with templates, templates for bringing all of these buildings and structures to the next level. There's going to be samples of different, of different windows, different designs, um, just how structures could uh, be even more interesting than they already are. Um, and also, like I said, there's no right or wrong way. So if you have a own unique way that you would like to make your structure, you can go for it. You're gonna wanna get a bigger piece of paper probably um, if you can, the bigger the better because then you'll be able to add even more detail and designs. Um, um, Ahmed, do you wanna share what you're doing so far? Talk a little bit about your plans, not yet? All right, you're sketching? All right, great. I love to see you all hard at work, but also just listening to each other. I love how your eyes are going up occasionally and then back down to your paper. That's showing very excellent listening skills. Hattie, tell us a little bit about your town. Okay, so basically I got like, I don't really like showing my work, so I got a foot locker because like you always gotta have a foot locker around you. Um, bowling because like, I like going bowling. You gotta have a mall because we don't got that drip and stuff. So, and then I got like mad houses because, um, like, you gotta have somewhere to live in and you can't just be on the streets to play mad. So, yeah. I love how you brought your own personal interest into your art. And that is something, um, you said you don't love showing your art, but I can tell you now that hopefully by the end of this, you will all be um, holding it up and being very proud because something great about being an artist is you can see the love through your art. When you're passionate about something and you're trying, you're getting better at things, you are going to be really proud of this work and that is our goal, each one of you making something that we're proud of. So think about what you need to bring to next class, making sure that um, we're really incorporating ourselves into our work. Um, um, Ahmed, go ahead. Um, so I put some buildings, park, a pool, and some stores, and I tried putting some, some random stores like a bodega pizza store. Excellent. Remember, you're only going to be able to pick four to eight structures, so you cannot choose more than eight, okay? Four to eight. All right, so like I said, this class ends at 2.35. It is now 
almost 2.30. Take your last three minutes sketching, writing, making a plan. If you are eating or drinking right now, please save that for a break. Um, it's important to use our hands during art class. I'm going to do a few last minute things um, here with you all too. While we have time. And uh, you can go ahead and raise your hand if you have any questions. Now this is just a sketch, you know, so there's nothing really right or wrong about what's going on right now. Just kind of getting it all down on the paper. Some, something else to consider is, do you want your city to be futuristic or olden days or current days? Because you can throw it back to a whole nother time. All right. Remember what we said about mixed structures. That's also an option for you. So if you feel like there's more things um, that you wanna add and you can't have it all, maybe consider mixing. I see Quincy's hand up. Go ahead, Quincy. Okay, so um, I would like to share my, um, my thing. Your vision? Yeah. Excellent. What's your vision, Quincy? So basically, I basically just sketched it so it looks very dumb and so there's a this is the store right here this is a circle building with a stand and Hold it closer to the camera Quincy and remember let's talk positive about our art because we are putting ourselves into our art this is something to respect this is something to um, be proud of let me but see I, think I can clearly draw better than this so that's what sketches are all about. Today's going to be a little bit of a, it's a rough draft, okay? So there's no right or wrong with this. So I, I love that. Tell us, tell us a little bit more about, our, about your thoughts. Okay, so since I wanted to make it look very attracting on the top, I made spikes on the top of the building, and I put hair on the top of the building, and then I made um, butt tower, which has... Um, two circles on top, and then I made it a circle building. Okay, make sure that we're putting things that are very important to us, okay? So if we're being silly, it's silly, okay? We wanna put our best selves, that this is something, are you, you like comedy? Are you a comedian? Yes. Okay, I can enjoy comedy. Yes. <laughs> Making sure that you, this is something that you really want each building. We don't have me to choose from, so make sure it's essential. Um, I see hands up. I'm trying to get to all of you. Um, I'm gonna go to yes. Okay, so when you have a building like this and you have nothing to do, I was thinking of doing it as a mayor building, but it's like a square, it's like a rectangle shape, and I was thinking of an apartment. So I'm trying to like figure out if this should be a mayor building or just be a regular apartment. So what do you think? So it seems to me like you're kind of thinking about the whole government aspect behind this. Do you feel like it's some it's important to have somebody on the premises making the rules of your town? No, I feel like I should run for mayor and then draw this as my own building. Then I should like that's it. Draw it as my own building. I love your thought process. Excellent. She's the mayor of her own town. Love the sound of that. <laughs> Um, and yeah, we could, we could talk through thought process, um, throw it back to the, to you all. You can answer each other's questions. I could try to make that happen. Um, so if you, if you would like to kind of, uh, ask what people think, that's something that we could do here. By the way, does anybody's neighborhood have a theme? I know that in the past there has been like jungle theme or, uh, foodie theme, some of you have some very, very strong interest in hobbies, so you might want to throw your theme in there. You have a theme? Yes. What's your theme? My theme is this. Wait, let me turn it. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah, I can see. Yeah. So tell us more about your theme. Why did you my choose theme, My theme is Sunside City. Since I'm drawing about parks, pizzerias, 
happy land. I'm thinking that it should be sunshine and everyone's happy instead of angry and mad. There's also a pool, mall, apartments, and that's why it's called Sunset City. Sunside City. I love that idea. That sounds like somewhere I would want to be. Okay, so we're going to actually be coming to an end very soon. Um, so I would like you all to put your pencils or whatever you're drawing with down, um, just like you would in class, sitting in Scholar and tracking, giving me that eye contact. Okay, we're gonna finish up in 10. Finish up your last few drawings and words, nine. And we're there in three. I see that Delvis is ready. So if I have to give you a grade for today, I'd say 100% participation. We're looking very good. Make sure I can see your eyes. Two, one, and zero. Okay, so make sure your pencils are down, your eyes on me. I want your undivided attention. So as we discussed, just as a summary, we, sixth grade, had build your own, I keep saying town, but I mean city, city. We're making our city. We're having the residential parts. We're thinking through, should we have commercial, institutional, industrial, parks and public spaces, okay? This is something that I am going to be sending to you all. I'm gonna send it via Jupiter. So if you uh, want access to that, make sure that you are checking the Jupiter account. Um, this should be sent by the end of the day today. And um, so you'll have it in your, your inbox. So what you need to bring next class, and I'm gonna get you back to sharing my screen here. What you need to bring here next class is the largest paper you can find. <laughs> You're also going to want to use a pencil and an eraser. And like I said, if you want uh, Sharpie coloring materials, you can bring those along as well. Um, feel free to. It's not required. We just really need that pencil, eraser, and paper. Okay. So I hope you all enjoyed. And I want to know before we sign off from each other, what is your... Um, favorite thing in the city that you are really looking forward to doing? Your favorite thing. I want to hear from someone I have not heard from today. Amber, I found you. Go ahead, Amber. <laughs> okay. So one thing, a couple of things. A couple of things that I've added and some things about the city was about how the, like, was based on my own neighborhood, like a lot of values. The houses and and the points of the city were like the characteristics of the building and like background. Excellent. The char characteristics of buildings. I love. I told you I'm going to provide you all. Um, on top of this PowerPoint, I'm going to provide you all with a few worksheets. Um, give you a good idea of the kind of work we can include onto our structures. Anyone else want to share what they're most excited to do in their town? Denisha? No. Denisha, did no, I basically, um, no. It's Danica. Danica, thank you, Danica. Um, so what are you most excited to do? <laughs> so what I'm most excited to do is um, add the stuff. What what things are you most looking forward to adding? Um, well, add the Bay Plaza, um, the government, the food market, Michael McDonald's and Wendy's, and um, like you know Burger King, and then we got the mansion, and then the apartments. Great. Remember, there's no right or wrong answer. It's whatever you're most excited for. Anthony, what are you most excited to add? Um, I'm most excited about my town is because I get to stay home. And it's like, aside from school, like it's another, I get to sleep more, which is very exciting to me in my opinion. Oh, you're talking about you're most excited about this program? No. Or in your neighborhood? How dare you? Wait, you, you, your question was, what's the most In your city. About, uh, so we're talking about what you're most excited to draw in your city. <laughs> All right, I'll come back to you, Anthony. 
Uh, buildings. Oh, buildings. Okay, great. All right. So, um, by the way, this is a really exciting opportunity. Um, at least me, I love, I love getting to know all of you guys. I am, um, going to sign off now because I believe class time is over. You have done, um, such a great job and it was really great, um, getting to know all of you. And I look forward to our art class next Monday. Um, I see a hand. I, I could take one more question and then we need a. So what I'm most excited about is this, my, this, this painting right here. Cause every what? show. Hmm? Great. Who are those people going to be? It's a girl and a boy and they're really happy in the happy land. So I'm most excited about the theme of Sunside and its impact on the happy land. I love that. And picture what we can do with even more time. We're going to be able to add even more elements. We're going to be able to dive into each part of our neighborhood. Okay. So next class, big paper and pencil and eraser. Make sure that you have it. I'm going to see where your teachers are uh, right now. Make sure they're in the room. Oh, yep. I'm going to. There we go. Ms. White, I just messaged them, so hopefully they'll get back to us. Also, yeah. hi, hi, School 2B. This is Ms. Bola <laughs> from last year. Love your shining faces. All right, bear with me here. I'm gonna take a look at the schedule to see what they have scheduled next. And they might not have a class until later and then uh, we can inform them. Okay, great. Hi, Hi it's Miss Villa from school one. So sixth grade has a break now until 3.05. Okay, perfect. So they could all sign off, huh? Definitely. Okay, wonderful. Sixth grade, it was such a pleasure meeting you and I cannot wait to see you next Monday. Look out on Jupiter. <laughs>